Somebody tell me why girls post profile pictures on Tinder, Instagram, whatever, using face filters. Like, are you trying to convince me you really look like that? Because you don't. Only I do. All right, so here's the bad news. My phone just ran out of battery, but here's the good news. I just got this super powerful portable charger. It is 16,750 mAh. Is that, is that mega? By RAV Power. So is it good? Does it suck? Let's put it to the test. Seven forty-eight. Phone just turned on. Three percent battery. How long will it take to get to one hundred? Check out the fucking. Is it a deer? I feel like I'm gonna call this a deer and have like a bunch of people correct me. It's like a deer or a doe or a buck or an elk or hell, I don't know. But what else came today? Hmm. Amazon, you're full of mysteries. What could this be? Majestic. Pretty dope graphic. It's very 11 year old girl. Enjoy. I saw this joke one time that said pandas are the least racist animals because they're black, white, and Asian. And dude, so am I. We have hit 100%. Almost two hours later, but we got it. 8.12. I'm probably gonna wish I got a bigger board because I wear a size 13 shoe. Size 13 shoe on an 8.125 board does not leave much room for the oh so important balance that skaters need. I'm gonna wish I got a bigger board. But the sucky part is, I'm gonna use my old trucks, old wheels, old everything. I need new grip tape. The grip tape I ordered with this board is not gonna be here till tomorrow. So, me and my little pony deck, we'll see y'all tomorrow. It's tomorrow. It's a guy on a skateboard. It's me. Well, hello. Yo, this suede is so comfortable, dog. Almost too nice to skate in. So, am I just enjoying a nice evening walk around Austin? As nice of a night as it is, I'm not. The reason I'm walking right now is because skater problems. Three of my fucking bolts came loose in one session. I'm not even that great of a skater. I guess I go hard. That makes me feel good. The real sucky part is that I'm still about two miles away from home. I wasn't even gonna go out that far, that's the thing. I just start skating or biking or running or whatever and I just keep going.
Yo quiero. Along this path, there are tons of little spots to hit. So it's fun. Like, you just want to keep going on to the next spot. There's a spot right here that I hit earlier. Ali. Backside no slide. Landed sketchy as hell, but it's okay. And kept going. Uh, uh. And right here. I got a fast start. I'll lead that little guy. Kept on going. Oh, these stairs right over here. I hit these two. Should have been recording this whole time. And there's this cool little ledge right here. LA Fitness. I should go there. Should I? Or is it gonna be just another place for me to make an excuse not to go or plan to go and then fall asleep before I actually do? That's the thing. Like even tonight coming out here, I was headed up to my bed just to sit down and chill, watch some YouTube. But I knew what was gonna happen because it always happens. I was gonna lay back, fall asleep, and stay asleep. So I just grabbed my board, went out, and skated. And I wasn't really feeling like it when I started, but I just did it. Kept going and kept going and got miles away. I would still be going right now if my freaking hardware wasn't busted. And that tells me that the hardest part about doing something, just doing it, just starting. Because once you start, your body adapts. Your body says, oh, okay, this is what we're doing. Let's optimize for what we're doing. So if I had gone up and laid down in bed, my body would optimize for what I was doing, which would be sleeping. And I'd be getting more tired. But if I say, no, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go do something, that's what my body optimizes for. It adapts, gives me the energy, and I come out, start skating, and I don't wanna stop. That's how it works. Works that way for the gym, works that way for skating, works that way for pretty much any opportunity. If you start it, your body and brain will get the message. They'll adapt, and they'll keep going. Bodies are cool. People tell you all the time, just whatever you want to do, just go do it. Just go do it. But that's easier said than done. I hate when people say stuff like that. Whatever you want to do, just go do it. Just go do it. Right now, go do it. Do it! I have so many ideas that I want to put to work. I have so many things I want to do. I want to just do it. I wish it was as easy as just going and doing it. Like, who do I have to talk to? Where do I go? If I have products I want to develop, who, how do I find a product developer? Like, help me. Help me! Help me, Nick! Hey, if you develop apps and products, let me know. Let's partner up. Like, I want to do it. I want to put in the work. I guess the important thing to remember is that every step gets easier. My sister once uh, told me the story of this man. He went into a store and picked up a kayak. Walked out of the store without paying for it. No one questioned him at all because he looked confident. He didn't give people a reason to question him. He walked into that store like he owned the motherfucker. Picked up that kayak and walked out smooth. So it's a lesson about confidence. Confidence and forward movement. I think confident progression is one of the main keys to success. Confident progression, action, forward movement, momentum. You can imagine whatever you want, but success is imagination plus action. So I guess as long as I keep moving forward and taking the right steps, eventually I'll get there. I was watching this movie, Cash Me If You Can, with one of my favorite actors, one of the best actors ever, Leonardo DiCaprio. So in this movie, Leonardo DiCaprio plays just this confident young man. I'd like to cash this check here and I'd like to take you out for a steak dinner. So confident that he's able to fake professional level credentials and get high level jobs because he's so confident in himself. He's confident in the way he carries himself. He's confident in the lies he tells. He's so confident that people think that they're true. He says this one quote, keep pushing that lie until it becomes true. And that's all a belief is. A belief is a lie that you think is true. It's not a lie if you believe it. Think about most of our beliefs. They're not true. We just think they're true, so they become true. They become reality. It's all a belief is. It's a lie. It's, it's nothing. It's a thought. It's an idea that you believe, and it becomes reality. If it was really true, it would be a fact. But there are facts, and there are beliefs. Facts we can't choose, but beliefs we can. So developing a strong personal belief is so important. So in this movie, he has a saying about just working hard, working your ass off, always staying in control, never letting any obstacle take over your progression, your determination, your motivation, something like this. Two mice fell in a bucket of cream. The first mouse quickly gave up and drowned. The second mouse wouldn't quit. He struggled so hard that he churned that cream into butter and crawled out. Now what does that mean to me? Whatever you're doing, you get to a point where it feels like you're drowning, but when you keep going, you begin to work downhill. It begins to get easier and easier and easier, and you realize your hard work is paying off, and that cream is being turned into butter, and the road gets easier and clearer. Instead of a panic, it becomes just a walk. And that's all this is right now. It's the perfect analogy. Well, the perfect analogies are relatable to, to everything, dude. It was two miles away. Guess what? I see the street I live on. You can't even see me right now. It's so dark because I'm in this neighborhood. Been walking for so long. But that's all it is, man. Just keep moving forward. And even though in the moment it can seem like you're panicking, it can seem like 
success is so far away, but the harder you work, you get to a point where you're climbing that mountain and climbing, 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 you reach the top, you think you've given it all you got, but the rest is just a downward cruise. You whip that cream so hard, it turns into butter, and you walk out. No matter how hard or light you're whipping your arms around, that cream is gonna keep turning into butter. And what that tells me is, success has no end, no finish line. It's just a continuous journey. No matter how big or small your steps are, as long as you're taking steps in the right direction, you'll get there. Thank you.